So the last video showed you how to use an image widget. I've zoomed out for this video because we've got a lot of pop-up menus happening in it. So I'm just going to make this a bit, uh, yeah, I'll make it a bit bigger. That might make it easier. So let's rename this page as image widget. That way I can put my images on different pages. I'm going to add a new page and I will call this page placeholder widget. That's the next one we're going to look at. So if we go down in our libraries, you will see I've got the image widget, which is a thumbnail of an image, and the placeholder, which is a box with diagonal lines across it. So if I double click to make that the active page, I can drag my placeholder widget across. And this comes from the early days of publishing when you, someone had to manually paste the image in. So you would just do your layout with this image to say image goes here and the finished artist would paste the image in there. Um, it's also very handy because it's held over to UX design, web design. So we can do wireframes um, and just put this in, uh, placeholder in there. Everyone knows in design this means an image goes here um, and it doesn't distract from the functionality. So if you're doing a lo-fi prototype, it's a really good idea to use placeholder widgets instead of images because then you can focus on the functionality, not the visual effect. Okay, so if I want to put an image in here, I cannot double click because that just adds type. What I need to do is click on this go into my um, inspector pane, scroll down until I get to fill and image. So let us select that. It's gone off the screen, so I'm going to shrink this a bit. That's why I had to zoom out for this video. So image, great. First thing I do is I select my image. Select, go and find it in here. I'll use um, different images, and that's what you should be doing as well. So I want to select that, I click open and it's now placed it. But you see how we're only seeing the corner there. Okay, that means I've got to align it better. There we go. It's chosen, this is aligning it to the center, meaning that the center point, um, no matter how big or small I make it, that's where it's going to align from. Now it's got no repeat here and that means that it's just going to bung the image straight on there and that's that's what you get. It'll crop off anything that's not there. So I can do image repeat if I want it to tile, you know, like those beautiful 90s backgrounds like the Space Jam website. Um, I can repeat it horizontally or vertically. Hang on, let's scoot this up uh, so that I can see that a bit better. There we go. Okay. So um, horizontal, vertical, what you usually use is stretch to cover and that means that it will fill the whole thing and it will just crop off any bits that don't fit. Um, that's the one you usually use. You can also do stretch to contain and that means you can see here how there's a bit of a gap. It will fill it um, so that the whole image fits in there, it doesn't crop anything, it just leaves a bit of space where that doesn't occur. You can also stretch horizontal and vertical. Please don't do that because it will, it will stuff up your aspect ratio unless your placeholder is exactly the right size. So I usually choose stretch to cover. So that gives us our image there and that's our placeholder image. Let's preview that. Um, you can see it's still got that cross across it to tell us this is a placeholder widget. You can also see, and this is important, when I stretch and um, shrink it, it stays exactly the same size. In the next video, I'm going to show you the dynamic panel, which works similarly but gives us an extra special magical thing that we can do. Um, so please watch the next video. Thank you.